Hi. This video is an overview of the front office, which is a versatile tool for handling all types of reservations. In the upper left corner, you can see what hotel the situation shown on the screen concerns. In a multi-hotel environment, you can select the hotel from the drop-down list. From the next list, you can choose what department you want to look at. Selecting all capacities shows the booking situation for all room types. You can also look at some specific room type by selecting only that type. You can collapse and expand the view by room type by clicking the arrow in front of the room type. You can collapse and expand the view for all room types at a time by checking or unchecking expand. All rooms are listed in the first column. Each row shows the details for one room. The C column shows the cleaning status. C stands for clean and NC stands for not clean. The occupancy column tells you if the room is occupied or vacant. If the room is occupied, the column shows the name of the guest who is staying in it. If there is a guest staying in the room, the check out column shows when they will be leaving. Balance shows the open balance of the room bill. Description is the room description. Reservations are shown on the right hand side of the screen, each has their own bar. The color of the bar shows the reservation status. If you move your mouse over the colors, you can see what each color stands for. Right clicking on a reservation opens a menu where you can choose what you want to look at. This reservation, all reservations for this guest and other guest details, allocated rooms and name lists, orders and invoices. You can also cancel the reservation from this menu. In the reservations view, there's one column for each day. For each day and each room type, you can see how many free rooms you have left. If yield management is activated, the background color indicates what rates can or should be used on a specific day. The red bar shows the booking situation. The number of rooms in allotments is shown in the middle of the bar. In this case, there are 10 rooms in allotments. With the number buttons, you can choose how many days are shown in this view. In the date field, you can specify the date that you want the view to start from. The arrow button takes you back till today's date. The vertical green line indicates the current moment. You can search reservations on name, reservation number or room number. Note that only the dates you can see in the view are included in the search. The clear button resets the view to what it was before you started your search. These are shortcuts for common searches, such as arrivals, departures, occupied or clean. The View All button resets and updates the view. From the drop-down list, you can choose what information you want to see on the reservation bars. This choice doesn't affect search results. The Reservations button and the Rooms button each opens a new window where you can browse reservations and rooms. In these windows, you can carry out more advanced searches. The Availability button opens a window where you can see the booking situation. The Guests button opens a window where you can browse guests. Using the new reservation button is one of several ways to make a reservation. Behind the More button, you can find a number of useful additional functions. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to watch our other Hotel X Cloud videos as well.